Hey guys, this is White Crow HD here, and today we'll be trying for the Bronze Nations tournament. And in goal we have Tally Hall, who's six foot four and has seventy two handling, and was surprisingly good for me. I didn't expect too much, but he was really, really good for me. Then first centre back we have Okugo with seventy seven pace, and he, however, he's just six foot, but he must have amazing jumping because he feels like a force in the air. And then Aiko Para, the beast himself, he's quite expensive. Cost me something like. It cost me 24,000 coins more or less. However, he has 81 pace and 75 heading and super, super strong. And then with tons of pace on the left back, we have Corey Ash, who's only 5 foot 6, but he has 89 pace. And on the right back, we have Kofi Sarkody, who has 84 pace. However, he felt surprisingly good in the air and won most aerial battles. So the, the defense was extremely solid. MLS Americans there. And in the right mid, we have the non informed bronze beast himself, and Marco Rojas. Just could have got his inform, but I didn't. Uh, uh, with 5 star weak foot and 4 star skills and 87 pace and then as a chemistry filler who I, however who surprised me really he surprised me a lot is uh, Spass or something uh, Delevsky and then Tobias Giron with 71 pace 71 dribbling however uh, he had bad defending stats however he won a lot of aerial battles because he's 6 foot 2 and then amazing amazing ball control from this Albanian with 79 pace, 75 dribbling, 4 star skills and a 4 star weak foot. Then we have the Swedish beast up front, Daniel Larsson with 92 pace and 4 star weak foot, 2 star skills. Really, really good. Used him before. And then we have Bernie Ibini Ise, the bronze beast, who's in Matt HD Gamers series. With 86 pace and he's 6 foot 2, I think, making him really, really strong. And just Daniel Larsson and Ibini Ise up front together are just unstoppable together. They just... I really could not fault that. As I really couldn't fault this team at all. Um, I was in the beginning. I was really afraid that um, the two centre mids wouldn't hold up well enough. However, I was to be proven wrong because, as I mentioned before, um, Delevsky was pretty solid. Had good vision. However, he took care of a lot of interceptions. Whereas Tobias Garam, because he was so tall, he won a lot of um, headers. So he so he held up there well and had what I felt great vision so he picked out some really good passes and uh, the defense was just so 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 solid the center backs ne hardly ever got caught out of position and if they did they definitely had the pace to keep up and they were so solid in the air and if for whatever rare occasion um, they n they couldn't catch up then the two right the right back and the left back would do so easily and they also got forward from time to time and got, uh, whipped in some pretty good crosses. And this team is just so, so good in the air, especially when attacking on corners. I'd, I can't remember the last time when I've scored so many goals on corners with uh, a team in such a short period of games or such a short amount of games as with this team. Because Okugo, Opara and Ibinise are just unstoppable on corners. So, so good. And Ibinise on regular crosses is also really really good however i was also extremely surprised with um daniel larson his heading doesn't say he's too good and he's not too tall i think five foot nine or something however it felt like he had amazing jumping or something because he did win a ton of balls in the air and here you see kofi sarkody getting forward i don't know why he was up there but he was and finished that pretty well and then it's really sloppy defending on my part should have cleared that or done something not just kept on running mark Rowe just got muscled off the ball and um jolly scored uh, finished that extremely well and as you see there okugo just like i mentioned before okugo and apara just scores score goals for fun on corners and then we go into the finals of the bronze nations tournament and we come up against a mix of a french team a french league team and i was not sure what to expect of this team and what was really good with the tournament requires for this tournament was the requirements for this tournament was that you had to have three different nations because um, otherwise people would have just showed up with their whole English teams with Weston and uh, Taylor and all these people things and just pace their way through 90 plus pace and won the tournament pretty easily now however now you have to think pretty smart or you have to maybe make a slightly different team and perhaps get some hybrids incorporated or think differently which I did with this team I didn't mention before that this before but um, it's a three league team with the Australian A League the Swedish Allsvenskan and the MLS and it I thought it linked up extremely well like I've mentioned before and now just about now or first of all I have no idea how that was a corner 
I mean, a penalty. If I don't know if it was a follow through of the goalie, I really don't know what happened. And I thought Rojas just to serve a goal in this tournament, so I gave the penalty to him. But after this, the final just got out of a hand. I just got the ball back, the ball back, the ball back. And as you see there with Gran, I hit the post and then everything just went my way. And it just got out of hand. And I that was 7-1. And then here I went for FIFA rally set piece. I was going, I wanted to get a bikey. However, it turns out Okugu got a perfect heading opportunity. And he scored 8-1. And then he did get a... Um, goal in the 71st minute to make it a tube however i beat feed my ass pretty easily and then he rage quit at the end of it which i do not see why you'd give up your dnf modifier when their game was over i really don't see why however part of the prize was you got a pack and in this pack i got weston and a 4 and 2 and 2 like i mentioned before who maybe was overused in this tournament i don't know however he sold for 11k so it turns out I got something like 14k as a prize instead, which I was really happy about. But as you see, I'm selling this team now. Extremely fun to use. Um, sorry for the lack of uploads lately. There will be more coming, I promise. And apart from that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, uh, subscribe, and as always, peace out, guys.